Yo, what's up, YouTubes? It's Too Many Choices back again. I feel like a dumbass, and I'm gonna try to save you from feeling like a dumbass too. This video is gonna be about the Law Tactical Folder and why it is much easier than previously thought to remove it if you need to. So um, let's take a look at how I screwed up and how you cannot screw up in this quick video. It's gonna be a quick one, I promise you. So remember, when I said that it was stuck and I needed to improvise a tool to remove it, okay? So that part is still true when I put mine together. I did everything in the instructions said, but I literally had looked on YouTube a thousand times at the install and no one pointed out the fact that the law has a set screw. So this little booger right here, I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but there's an Allen head screw that is a set screw that goes through here. Once you need to remove it, you simply need to back that screw out. As you can maybe see that it's backed out and protruding. And then the flange or the I guess that's more of a, uh, what would you call that? It's basically a castle nut, I guess. But the castle nut then will unscrew very easily. So again, I didn't use the other tool because it won't lock in anymore, but with that loosened, this flange, or castle nut will tighten and untighten very easily. That's as far as I'm gonna tighten mine down now because guess what? There's a set screw. So once I retighten the set screw, now that locking castle nut stays inside. I feel like a dumbass. I didn't need to get all this marred out and that's the reason why the other piece would bend so much. So I literally looked on YouTube for over an hour, I want to say at Law Tactical Folder videos, not one person mentioned this set screw. I just now went back in the instructions after finding a video that showed the set screw, and I wondered what this damn thing was for. Should have put two and two together, but I'm an idiot, remember? So, but that little screw, or bolt, whatever you want to call it, is holding in the flange slash castle nut that they provide you. So once you loosen that castle nut or that screw, that retaining screw, your castle nut will spin freely either direction if need be. So once you put your law tactical folder together, make sure that you screw that back down, wouldn't over tension it. I don't even think it needs Loctite. I just keep an eye on it. Maybe every couple of range trips or months, check it and then see. And if it does start to loosen out, then I'd Loctite it. But I mean, I, on a product that's this quality, I should have known better. So, this is my Law Tactical Folder taken apart. It will not lock at the moment because I removed everything. The locking hinge is gone. But once that bolt or screw is loosened enough, your castle nut that they provide you will loosen up or tighten as need be for install or disassembly. Save yourself the drama, guys. Make sure that you read the instructions fully. I honestly thought I did. I went through them and didn't really even see this little part mentioned. But, hey, it is what it is. You guys make sure that you're uh, taking care of your products. And I'm still okay with it because, again, none of the damage that I actually did getting it out the first time affects its function. But save yourself the drama and keep your insides looking pretty there. Peace.